Hey everybody, it's Mizlex Games here. Welcome you back to another episode of Let's Play Dark Souls Prepare to Die Edition. In this episode, we're going to be tackling the worst place in history, Blight Town. Blight Town. Honestly, though, Blight Town isn't even all too hard once you know the path through it. But knowing the path through it is the hard part. So hopefully, I'm going to be showing you guys something that can make Blight Town just a little bit easier, assuming I don't screw it up. Like bajillion times like I'm probably going to. You, Mr. Slime, I don't need to kill you, but I hate you, so I'm going to stab you anyways. Let's go. We Onward to Victor Blight Town. How is Blight Town victory? It's not. Anyways, first thing you're going to want to do is summon a dragon! No. Put on full black leather set because, honestly, the stuff's probably going to kill you stupid fast anyways, so who gives a crap how much defense you have? You just want poison resistance out the anus. So let's do that. We slide. Another thing is you're going to want to have a bow. Once you have those two things, Blight Town becomes immeasurably easier. Oh god! Um, so. And Spider Shield is a must for Blight Town. I think I just kicked this guy off the ledge. Yeah, that's why you want to do that. Next, you're going to want to do is... Get this guy's attention with a headshot or a body shot, but headshot does more damage. And then walk forward to a safer place. Blight Town, dear God, why? You know how it is. Avoid that attack, because that attack hurts and knocks you over. So, it's best to avoid that. Um, these guys aren't very hard because you can chain stab them like so. Oh, well, not like so, but I just barely managed to block that, so he's dead. We killed him. Don't know what he's up to, but he's not dropping anything for us. Anyways, just give this guy a quick headshot. And circle around, get the backstab. Circle around the other side. Missed the backstab because he turned too much, but get it anyways because who gives a crap? Go around the other side. Missed the backstab because we're bad, but like I said, who gives a crap? These guys are honestly a bit harder to chain stab than the Black Knights are, in my opinion. But whatever. It's not a big deal, anyways. But you're going to want to bait these guys one at a time. Like, it takes forever, and it's irritating as crap. But if you don't do it, then you're stupid. Because these guys actually have a good chunk of HP and do a lot of damage. They don't inflict poison, though, which is interesting. You'd think they would. But it's like, whatever, you know? <sighs> Boot this guy, hopefully off the cliff. Wasn't off the cliff, so we're just going to two-hander weapon and thrust. Oh, he's alive. Thrust. They have a partisan, but I don't think I have any chance of dropping it. And that guy has a body, so he's pretty much amazing. Yeah, you know how it is. Just going to bait his attack, get behind him, land the backstab. And then pokey pokeroo, all done with that. Soul blast and dead. It's mighty fine. Um, then down here, you're gonna wanna shoot this whore in the face. Look at our wing spear. So beautiful. I love it. You can actually see that toxic guy in the background. Well, I don't know if you can. Depends on how right the video is, but uh, bear him in mind, because he's not very nice, and he does shoot toxic darts onto you. I mean, you can snipe him from a distance and try and kill him, but usually I run up and melee weapon him. We'll see. So you're dead. Um, that's good. Actually, can we snipe him? Yeah, we can. If we uh, shoot fast as crap and dodge 
There we go. Good job, boss. Ow. His dart hit me anyways. Good thing it didn't toxic me. That would have been very sad. Because I don't have that many toxic darts. I mean, toxic cures. Anyways. So now that he's dead, um... I suppose we could go down there. There's not really any point to going down there, but we can do it anyways. You know. Oh, at 15 FPS of Blight Town. Swear to God. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, hello, two sirs. We can attack these guys from behind the wall. I lied. Just gonna want to thrust them. Oh, God, don't get eaten. Uh eating attack is bad hurts a lot but it's pretty easy to outrange and counter like so plus considering how mean these guys are they don't actually do all that much poise damage so you don't have all that much to fear from being hit by them honestly um, let's just head down here and pick up that soul of a proud knight because why not we may as well if we're doing a full Blight Town playthrough, we may as well pick up all the stuff, as much as I hate to do that, because I hate this place. Um, yeah. Supposedly, you could jump down from up there and run up through, but there's like three guys down here, so that'd probably be worse for you than just going the way I showed. I don't know. This video might end up being an hour long, so this is one of the longer places in the game if you don't go around the back way. If you go around the back way, it's just done instantly who gives a crap right but since we're not going around the back way it might take us a while let's give this guy a quick headshot and remind him why we're here or miss two arrows that's a good option as well there we go mm. circle around get the backstab stabu baku and thrusting. Oh, I missed. That's fine, too. Oh. Let's tab to the left. And shoot him in the face. This guy's body. Let's kick it around a little bit. There we go. Hello, sir. How are you today? Yes, I know. You're a scary thing. Let me just stab you in the face back. I don't know. And thrust. Double thrust. Um, I honestly wish I had more errors than I have right now, but it's whatever. Okay, well, he's mad at us, who gives a crap? Right. Okay. Come at me, sir, and stab you in the back. Here we go. Poke. Poke. Well, I got a lot of HP, actually. That's kind of weird. Um... I hate this bridge. I hate it so much. It's not a very nice bridge. Now, uh... I don't remember what that is, or if you can even walk on this, but I'm gonna go get it anyways. Oh god. Oh, that's a shadow mask. Okay. Now, I don't remember if it's possible to get back. Guessing I'd be a no. Hmm. Honestly, getting the Aito is better in the shadow set my personal opinion uh, but can't do that now so I mean I guess we could don't know how we could always throw ourselves off of a cliff like maniacs oh hello anyways from here, you just want to speedrun, 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 MLG Pro! Rest at the bonfire. You are a whore. The bonfire didn't even get lit. There we go. Rest the bonfire. Now, we are A-OK. -okay. Let's go try and find the way back up to get the Yaito. Because the Yaito's up there, and it's usually something that's worth picking up. Because it's actually a very good weapon, honestly. Frack, why am I going this way? I don't remember. Hmm. How to get back up there? Is there a way to get back up there? I don't know. <laughs> I 
That was fun. Try it again. Try it again. He's trying it again. We're gonna bait him. We're gonna bait him with fire. Fireballs. America. I'm gonna slide down onto this guy's head. Whee! Chunk. 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 <laughs> chunk. Chunk. Stab you in the back. But yeah, what you have to do there is you just slide down onto that until you can break their poise. It's not hard. No, get down. Um. <sighs> great if I knew how to get back up to the Aito. I don't. It'd be great if I did. Um. This is me derping around. We could be halfway through this place by now. Like, friggin' seriously. Uh. But we're not, because... Oh, but we did get the shadow sets. Maybe we should go ahead and put that on, because it's actually pretty good armor, honestly. It's like this armor that we're wearing now, but with better defense. I mean, poison resistance, so... Plus, it's literally got the exact same stats. So, if we're gonna, you know, why not? Anyways, um... Maybe what we're gonna do is we're gonna beat Blight Town... Unless we can find a way back up, which I don't know how to do. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and beat Blight Town. I, w I would have preferred I got the Yaito and then the Shadow Set, if I'm going to be honest. Because uh, you can get both, but not in the order I did it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and beat Blight Town and then come back for the Yaito. I might just cut back to that. Oh god, how why are you here? GTFO. The Fire Dogs are evil. Absolutely not. That was a very risky thing I just did, and it wasn't on purpose, I promise. Um, so there's a toxic guy up there you're going to want to avoid. You can f just fight these guys back here. Ow, don't attack me. Don't eat me either. That was fun. Pointless, but fun. Ouch. Oh, we're going to die here. Almost positive heal. Don't get eaten. Dodge that crap. Stabity, stabity. There we go. Um, so now those guys are dead. Uh, there's not too much more. As you can see, we're already almost to the end here. What we can do is we're going to roll off here. Um, I don't remember what I got to do here. Yes, I do. I'm going to roll off here. There we go. Um, that does aggro someone when you do that, but I don't remember where he comes from, so I guess we're going to see. And what you do with that... Oh, there he is. Hello. Who'd you free? I heard you break a pot. Is your buddy in the pot? Okay. Thrusted you to death. So I heard a second guy. When you hear that growl, it means there's another one coming. But... It's not really a big deal. Um... It'll take him a while to get to me. What we gotta do with this guy, honestly, is pick a spot and no scope him to death. Rink. Doesn't take too many arrows since we have high decks, but our bow is not leveled up. We're gonna pick up a black bow of Ferris soon. Not sure when. We look like a sir right now, dressed up in our ninja clothes. Look at us. Jesus. Honestly, if I'm gonna be honest, I don't like the looks of the ninja set. I don't think it's neat looking at all, and I prefer other sets to this set, but it's still a good set for Blight Town, so we're going to use it. I like how this guy, if you just constantly shoot, he makes a pattern of arrows in his side. Let's see? Patterns of arrows. It's not a pattern anymore, because I scoped in. But yeah. You know how it is. Perhaps. But honestly, once you get to this guy, you're almost done with Blight Town. So, that's good to know. What you do here is you just roll off down to there. Hey, buddy. Nope. Nope. Lol. Um. I may as well pick up this item. And going that way is the way you need to go. But. 
May as well pick up our power within Pyromancy first. Oh god, somebody's shooting darts at us. Run away. Don't know from where, or from why. From why? Would that be proper English? I don't think so. So he's... He's right there. So he can't hit us from here. But can we hit him? Yeah. No. Oh god, he was smart. He learned! Early. That sucks. Yeah. Well. That was an accident. <laughs> Go us! Ugh. But yeah, as you saw, this place isn't too long. You just gotta be careful while running through it. Um, I didn't kill that poison guy. Just gotta be aware of that. You also gotta be aware that there are these fire dogs here, and also this guy who's a whore. Because he distracts you from killing the evil fire dogs. <laughs> evil fire dogs. Hate them so much, hate them so much, hate them so much, hate them so much. Ow. Broke my shield. Don't breathe fire on me, whore. Okay, get out of my way. They do so much damage, they're stupid as crap. I hate them. Look at that. Look at that bullcrap. And they attack really fast. And I can dodge really well. Okay. Can't believe we got out of that alive. I knew if I didn't stun lock the dogs, they would have bitten me and killed us. Which would have been super sad, I'm sure. For all of us involved. Might have been funny for you guys, though. Ow. Ow. Oh, God. I'm so boned. I'm so boned. Okay. Hello, other guy. Heal up. Ow, he dodged it. Oh god. Now I can't see. So we're just gonna stab this guy. Oh, fire dog committed suicide. That makes me happy. And that guy apparently just wanted to get backstab for the tiny chunk of life he had left. So we're just gonna thrust him twice. He is dead. Heal up. And uh Pretty sure you get nothing for walking across us, but we're gonna do it anyways. You know. Cause we be MLG Pro. Yeah, nothing. Um well. Jump down here, I guess. That was scary. I did not trust that it Oh. There's a door there. Hey, look. Souls. See, we're already back here. This is right near the end, so it's like... Not a very long course at all. Anyways. If I remember correctly from here, you're gonna want to climb up this ladder. Go down here. Hello. But yeah, like I said, uh, when they're climbing up the ladder after you, it's not a big dealio. You can just poop on them. Hopefully that giant guy honestly just like walks off the cliff after us and see him. We could shoot him to death with a bow. In fact, let's do that. Lol. What you gonna do about it? What you gonna do about it? What you gonna do about it? Nothing. Nothing. You're boned. Look how boned he is. He even knows it. <laughs> He's so creamed. Oh god. He learned. Kind of. <laughs> Alright then. So over here is the eagle shield. This is a pretty cool looking set. Uh, this is a pretty good shield. It's less good now because they nerfed it. Before it was really good. Um, best shield in... Best shield for dex builds in the game. It's a great shield that gives... It, it's a great shield that only needs 16 strength. And a dex build can throw on 16 strength. That's not a big deal at all. How did you... Where did you come from? Okay, I guess that's cool. Like, you can kill me. I'm grateful for that. Anyways, so we're almost done with Blight Town. We're almost to lower Blight Town here. Um, there's not much more. The giant guy walked off the cliff, and we killed his buddy already. So, that's good. We killed the pyromancy hiding guy, the sluggy. Um. Oh, he didn't kill his buddy. Okay, well, his buddy's right here and doesn't have a giant friend anymore, so he's a little bit less threatening. Because we can just stun lock this guy to death, see? Yep. You're scary, I'm sure. Anyways. Uh, 
so here this is something I don't really like to do because there's a bunch of stuff right that's pretty neat that you get here but it's scary as crap to get like you gotta fall off this freaking cliff here to get the whip which isn't even all that good you gotta fall off this cliff to continue on like oh god do you see how close we are to that ledge do you see how close we are that's such just why why would they make us do that anyways so uh... these guys aren't a problem as long as you just two-hand your weapon and attack before they do see like super easy not even scary what is this it was a large club wow I think the fat guy who jumped off the cliff dropped that for us when he died. In fact, that's what he, that's exactly what happened. Anyways, so, uh... Oh, there's a tiny guy, too. That's the guy who committed suicide earlier. Um, so one thing you need to bear in mind is there's a guy who shoots toxic somewhere. And there he is. He's right over there. And over by him is the Wanderer set, which is a pretty good set of armor. You won't really be using it, but you should bear that in mind. Um, you're going to want to run up to him before he can deal too much damage. I mean, toxic to you and just give him a good old backstab. Prove to him why you're the boss of his territory. Um, so those guys are terrible things who need to not be a thing at all because they're evil and I hate them. Anyways, that's where you get the Wanderer set. You also get a free Falchion, which is one of the best dex swords in the game. Oh god! It came up through the wall. How's that even? Uh, I hate them. I hate them so much. Like, they don't even attack, really. They're just irritating as crap. So. Uh, we're almost we're almost done with Blight Town. <sighs> just have a few more things to do here, and then we'll be done. Here's these guys. There's a bunch of them. Like I said, just two-handed and thrust them to death. They're pretty easy. That fire attack does a lot of damage, though, so... Make sure you watch out for that. Actually, all of their attacks do a lot of damage, but that's besides the point. If you're coming from Lower Blight Town up there to get power within the Wanderer set and stuff, be in mind, w bear in mind that there is a bug that happens sometimes where you just fall like two inches and die instantly, and it's pretty much the saddest thing that ever happens ever. So just bear that in mind when you're coming down here. Um. It's a good thing we popped an Estus when we did there. Okay. Uh, so we're looking good so far. We're doing okay. We're about to be safe. Uh, there's these two guys down here. Well, only one guy. The other one's the Ragnall. Okay. So that's not so bad, honestly. Uh, but the swamp does poison you. Just bear in mind, the poison's not a big deal. It doesn't even hurt. And... Our bonfire is right around the corner. So, we're done with Upper Blight Town. We're done. We finished it. Good job, guys. Go us. We're so good at this game. I swear to God. Um, so you're going to want to reverse hollow here. And even though there's a very, very high risk of invasion in this place, because douchebags, uh, honestly, I invaded Blight Town sometimes, so I guess I'm a douchebag. I'm okay with this. <laughs> I'm okay with being a douchebag. Uh, so you're going to want to watch out. It can be a bit of a danger to be human, but there's also something you're going to want to get while you're human. There is this thing back here. Like, there's always messages leading up to it, and, like, making it seem like it's a big freaking boss going to rape your butthole like Havel or something. But now nah, it's just a dragon scale on a chest, so there you go. Um, you know who that is. <sighs> then we got over here... Uh, I don't even know why I said those words. It didn't make sense together, but I said them anyways. How much damage are we do? 166. I'd like to be doing a bit more than that, but I will accept that as good. Uh, but right over here, we have this guy. Just trust him. Now we're done. And just keep running. We And then thrust this guy. Noink, noink, noink. And then you get an NPC invader. Right over there. That is Maneater Mildred. She drops a whole bunch of souls and the Butcher's Knife, which is a pretty good weapon for strength builds, actually. Like, it doesn't get enough credit considering how good it is. What are you doing, Mildred? Derp. Anyways. Yeah, so she's easy as crap. She has no poise, a terrible shield. The only thing scary about her is the fact that the Butcher's Knife heals 5 HP per successful hit. But you don't get hit by Mildred. That just doesn't happen. Like, look at this. She, she's dead. She never even had a chance. 
the only thing that hurt us was that little insect over there. But you get a bunch of humanities and a bunch of souls from her, so bear that in mind. Um, we'll cover up there in a bit, but first we're going to want to kill Quilog. Uh, another thing about Maneater Mildred that's pretty neat is she can be summoned to help you fight Quilog. So that's pretty friggin' awesome, honestly. Y you get a NBC invader, and then she's helpful. It's kind of like the reverse of a guy later in the game. We'll cover that when we get to it. But, yeah. Um, I was just going to stab this guy. Not a big deal. Uh, do, 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 do. So there's a bunch of slugs, and the slugs are amazing. They drop humanities and... No, not humanities. They drop shards. They drop large shards and green titanite shards all the time. All the freaking live long day. I love them. They're so great to kill. I come down here early in the game sometimes to grind up... Uh, Titanite for fire weapons. Fire, yeah, fire weapons. Which I then ascend to chaos after Quilog immediately. Um, as you can see, they have like no HP. If we had the grinding items and 10 humanities, then they drop a lot more stuff. But for now, we're just gonna do one run through of them, see if we can't get any large shards. And if we can, then we celebrate. If we can't, then who gives a crap? Um, honestly, it doesn't make a difference. But yeah, so. There's a whole bunch of them. Like, tons. I think there's 20 or 30, actually. So you can you have a lot of chances to get Titanite. Uh, they don't do that much damage, and they're easily outranged. The only thing is you want to make sure that you have at least some poise before you come fight them. Usually what I do is I like to wear the, um, uh, the gold serpent ring with the rusted iron ring to make farming them just that much easier, because it's already super easy, you know? Make it easier. Um, yeah. But, as you can see, two hits from our spear kills them. It's got to be mindful of the poison that happens to you. Like This is going to be a long episode, guys. I'm not looking forward to rendering this crap, but we're going to do it anyways, because I like to get Blight Town done in one run. Um, we might cover the Great Hollow, or at least part of it. Not sure. As you can see, two, two hits still kills them, even like one-handing our weapon. So we may as well one-handed get our extra shield, you know, take less stamina for the attacks. Not a big deal. Right over here is a large shard. That's pretty good. And here's a bunch of slugs. I'll let our stamina regen a little bit. Nrink, nrink. Dodge you, and nrink, nrink. And here's you, and... That was fun. And necessary, I'm sure. Anyways... I do. They do drop a bunch of souls. Like you can usually get a level or two at low levels from grinding these guys. Uh, so you may want to consider that. It's up to you, truly, though. Oh, yeah, our shiny knight shard drop. That's what I wanted. Um, and you gotta thrust, thrust, and dodge this, and thrust, and the rust, and the rust, and give us a heal. We, and then right through here, you got a server. Not not like a computer server. It's a regular server. And, yeah. So, we're almost done. We almost have all the collectibles that we're going to get in here. Because we don't need to pick up the Great Club. That's a death sentence, in all honesty. Why would you get that? Especially because we got a large club, which is better. We can't use it, but it's better. So bear that in mind. Um... Yeah, just thrust this guy to death. He's not a target. Well, he is a target, but he's not a scary target. And give this guy a good running stab of justice. Um, as you can see, we're poisoned again. That's kind of ridiculous, I know. But that was me accidentally bumping my mouse and causing my screen to, like, twitch all over the place. A maniac screen. Maniac! Anyways, right here you got the plank shield, which is pretty good. And through here, no, 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 you got twin humanities, which is also pretty good. And then through here, I know, right? It's crazy. You've got the Great Hollow. Bum, bum, bum! We're actually only getting one thing from here, so it's not a big reason to come down here yet. If I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. But, yeah. So, th you have this bonfire here. I'm not going to rest at it, personally, because like, as long as you have full health, this jump won't kill you. But, as you see, there's a sparkly down there. So what are we going to do? We're going to jump to it. Whee! And we got a sparkly. 
Noink. Clarenthy Ring. So now we're just gonna bone home with our very few homeward bones we have left. We cure our poison and get back our Estus Flasks. Estus Flasks! Uh, yeah. So, this pretty much covers everything we're gonna cover for this part of Blight Town, so we may as well go. Actually, wait. We need two more tunements. Yeah, there we go. <sighs> so now, we may as go try and kill uh, Quilog. Let's freaking do it. I mean, I don't see why not, right? We have, we have some good stuff. We're ready. We can take her. She's not hard. Well, she's really not all that hard, honestly. The hardest part about her is getting there. And since we have poison here, it's like it's kind of whatever. Is that a summoning sign I see over there? It is a summoning sign. What the fuck? Why is this over here? Should we do it? Yeah, let's do it. If it works, it works. But if it doesn't work, then it gives a crap. <laughs> summoning phantom. Mini, mini, mini. Oh, did it work? 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 No, I don't think it worked. Nope. Didn't work. Yeah. I don't care that much. Uh, over here is another large shard. reason I'm going to kill Quilog now, even though I'd usually wait a bit more, is because I don't care. <laughs> I will... This episode's getting on in length, and I just kind of want to beat the area boss to show you just how easy this place can be, if you know what you're doing. Uh, but you know how it is. That is a large shard. Summoning failed, yeah. Not a big deal. So just gonna give this guy a good poke or two. Hey. Don't live. Anyways. We onward ever onward. Yep, yep, yep. Just journeying through the town of Blight. Blight Town. And first thing we're gonna wanna do is summon a dragon! No, I don't know. Uh, we're gonna take this moss clump. Yum. Then we're gonna eat this food. Yum. Then we're gonna go. Wee! 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 Wee. Yes. So we're up here. That's good. It's all well and done. Don't attack those. That's a terrible idea. You'll see signs like try attacking or don't attack or stuff. Uh, listen to them. <laughs> don't attack these. You'll get your butt handed to you. Let's you know what you're doing. But yeah. So right here, we have Maneater Mildred. Something phantom. This is the NPC we killed earlier, but now she's actually useful. Amazing, right? Yeah. She actually has a lot of HP and does a decent amount of damage, so she's pretty good versus this boss. So it's just going to activate power within, then we're going to go. This is Chaos Witch Quilog. Um, one good way to start out the match is to run straight up to her as opposed to derping around over to the side. That just launched me, and I've never seen that happen before, and I'm scared. Um, but yeah, one good way is to run straight up to her so that she doesn't, like, jump at you. Um, I'm not sure what what's her butt's up to. Maneater Mildred. She's just over there derping, kind of, right now. Um, but bear in mind that the uh, power within does drain your HP. So that's what makes it bad, uh, but also really good. Because it's like, you're going to have to heal up anyways. We could be boned here, because we're in lava. Yep. That was terrible. That was a terrible thing that happened. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, if you ever get pinned by lava, and she explodes, you're pr 
pretty much boned. I think we're going to try once more, this time without uh, Mildred, because screw Mildred, right? Yeah. Um, out of my face, you... Argh! Get out of my face, you don't need to be around. You're just a whore. Get out of here. Jesus. I don't know. Um, but I didn't mention one of the strategies that actually is pretty good. You friggin' followed me. What the heck? Get out of my life. Um, it's actually pretty good for Blight Town to avoid toxic. Is you throw a dung pie, which toxic yourself, right? And it's not as bad of a toxic. So you can use the dung pie toxic to not get toxic by the blow dart guys. You don't have to worry about from the blow dart guys is the hit stun from them shooting you, which isn't even that bad. So it's like, come on, yeah. None of my benefits. Anyways, so we're gonna try Quilog once more. If it doesn't work out this time, we're just gonna just gonna rage quit, honestly, because this episode's going on long enough. I need to stop talking. My voice is starting to hurt. I need a freaking glass of water. I didn't grab one before I started recording. I'll never know, but I didn't. So there you go. <sighs> we're almost done. Almost done. Don't worry, guys. Calm your tits. Calm your tits. Uh, we're not gonna try power within this time. It's not really worth it, in my opinion. One strategy you can use, bear that in mind, is you can simply just, like, shoot her with arrows. Because when you shoot her with arrows, she doesn't know what to do. Uh, but try and stay far over to the left side of her, because when you're on the left side, she cannot hit you with her attacks. Maybe we should have done power within. No, leave me alone. Uh, where's our souls? There we go. Uh... If you get too far away, she does that move, which is terrible, and then she likes to follow it up with an explosion. We might be boned, because we're in lava. Yeah, we're pretty much boned. Yeah, we're boned. Yeah. That was terrible! Come on! This is one of my souls. <laughs> yeah, she likes to follow it up with her explosion, which is really mean. She'll jump at you, spit lava, and then follow it up with the explosion. It's like, come freaking on. Anyways, uh... I guess we're gonna call it an episode... We're in Blight Town. We failed twice to Quilog. Uh, Quil Usually I don't fail at all to Quilog, but I'm, uh, I'm going to blame recording. Recording curse, perhaps. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.